ਡਿਸਬਿਲਿਟੀ ਐਂਡ ਇੰਸ਼ੋਰੈਂਸ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਚ ਕਾਫੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਹੈ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਾਫੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਇਗਨੋਰ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ 65 ਸਾਲ ਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਰਿਟਾਇਰ ਹੋ ਜਾਈਏ ਅਗਰ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਇੰਪਲੋਇਰ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੰਪਲੋਇਰ ਨੂੰ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਡਿਸਬਿਲਿਟੀ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟਸ ਜਾਂ ਇੰਸ਼ੋਰੈਂਸ ਪਾਲਿਸੀਜ਼ ਗਰੁੱਪ ਪਲਾਨਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਅਗਰ ਅਸੀਂ 65 ਸਾਲ ਚ ਰਿਟਾਇਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਔਰ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਜੌਬ ਕਰਨੀ ਕੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਪਾਲਿਸੀ ਰਿਵਿਊ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ 65 ਦੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਕਾਫੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਡਿਸਬਿਲਿਟੀ ਔਰ ਇੰਸ਼ੋਰੈਂਸ ਦੇ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟਸ ਆ ਉਹ ਖਤਮ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਐਕਸਪਾਇਰ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਪਾਲਿਸੀ ਰਿਨਿਊ ਕਰਨਾ ਭੁੱਲ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਪਾਲਿਸੀ ਨੂੰ ਰਿਵਿਊ ਕਰਨਾ ਭੁੱਲ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਉਹ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਖਤਮ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਆ ਸਾਰੇ ਦੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਸਟੈਟਸ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੀ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਕੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਬੈਰਿਸਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਸੋਲਿਸਟਰ ਨਨੇਸ਼ ਕੋਟੈਕ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਫਾਊਂਡਰ ਹੈ ਕੋਟੈਕ ਪਰਸਨਲ ਇੰਜਰੀ ਲਾਅ ਦੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਨਨੇਸ਼ ਕੋਟੈਕ ਵਿਦ ਅਸ to discuss about the disability benefits after the age of 65 so normally in canada we retire at 65 but if we still keep on working after the age of 65 do we renew our but if we still working after the age of 65 do we review our policies because most of the disability benefits they get expired at the age of 65 that has to be discussed review and talk to your insurance or group policy plans to your employer because if you miss that benefits and keep on working that may harm you so mr kotek uh, thank you and uh, welcome to the show thank you so much for having me uh, it's a very important and very uh, uh, important issue because uh, at the age of 65 normally people get retired but yes. what if they keep on working and what the stats canada report says you know this is a, a really a significant issue issue that's going to become more and more mm-hmm. prevalent you know the situation is there's about 900,000 canadians above the age of 65 who are actually in the workforce okay now they're remaining in the workforce for a number of reasons one they like to work and they're healthy enough to continue mm-hmm. and number two is that they have to by way of necessity okay we know in spencer there are a lot higher than they used to be uh the people's uh, investments aren't running as well as they used to be um maybe they've lost properties and they just have to work so how do we protect those people for income loss mm-hmm. through disability after the age of 65 mm-hmm. and this requires in my opinion pre-planning <clears throat> you don't wait to your 65 and then ask because the the premiums at that time to buy another policy whether it's private or ask an employer can you you know can we work something out with the group it's very expensive. Mm-hmm. The time to really think about this is maybe when you get a new job and as part of your negotiation, okay, there is a plan. Maybe maybe in your late 50s or mid 50s at that time you're thinking, "No, I'm going to keep working until 70, 75." Ask at that time. Negotiate it as part of your package so that it becomes less expensive if you mm-hmm. if you buy it now and take it into the future beyond 65. And I could say the same thing with health benefits. you know uh you know yes uh, after 65 you know you have a uh if you have a, a certain income or less you can get your your drugs and medications uh, paid for uh, but there still is dental there still is hospital there still is other things that you would normally use your health benefits for mm-hmm. that may end at 65 these are all important things to think about as our population is growing older and older So as you mentioned the reasons why people are still working after the 65 because the financial crunch yes. financial crosses inflation and the uh, many stress uh, comes along uh, that way yeah. uh, and many times the people they they overlook and what should not be overlooked when you are a employee working for someone what should not be overlooked the disability benefit policies 100% you know obviously the first thing we look at when we get a, a job is compensation okay right mm-hmm. but compensation is not just okay my hourly rate it's not just my yearly rate mm-hmm. there's your bonus structure there are term you know uh, termination clauses can they fire you with with you know less less notice than would be normally be required under the employment standards act or common law um disability benefits life insurance these are all factors that need to be considered you know just because one job maybe pays say 5000 more than another the other job might actually be better if you look at all the package and that is the time to negotiate you know that is a time to if you if you're skilled and you know you um you you need those benefits negotiate it at that time now let's say you haven't 
Okay, but now you realize, now you're 55 and oh, I, there's no way I can retire at 65 mm -hmm. because my, uh, there's no way I'm gonna make enough money, my yes. investments uh, didn't go as good, whatever it might be. Maybe start talking to the employer then, hey, you know, is there some way we can, you know, look at the policies and extend me beyond 65 or look for a private policy that maybe will not pay as much. You know, maybe it only pays a smaller portion of the income, but at least it's there. So you're not in an unfortunate destitute situation. If you, you're 65, 66, you think you're gonna be working until 70, 75, and all of a sudden you get disabled and you have to stop working, you get some EI, um, but that's it. Because keep in mind, you know, CPP disability stops at age 65. Oh, really? So you don't even have that uh, benefit that would that, that would, would, would be paid to you. So you are recommended one one has to be proactive because 100%. before 65, <laughs> talk yeah. to your employer, yes. review your group plans, review yes. your insurance, even if it is private insurance or uh, uh, employer's insurance, right? 100% because mm -hmm. if you wait till last minute, mm -hmm. you might be ineligible because okay. of your age mm -hmm. um, and, and maybe health condition mm -hmm. or uh, uh, even still, maybe um, it's going to be way too expensive that okay. you're simply not going to be able to afford it. So always, you know, try to look earlier. It's mm -hmm. a very serious issue, you know, as unfortunately the population is, it, we're not getting richer, you okay. know, our, uh, we have a little bit of slow growth in this mm -hmm. country. Um, there's a lot of, uh, of economic related issues that people are going through. Hmm. Mr. Gotek, uh, you have recommended that uh, one should be proactive yes. and at the age of 65, that time most of the benefits they get expired. Yes. So, uh, what if someone has to review their policy with the employer? What should they consider in the reviewing? What right. should what all the list that they should review it? Like if these benefits are there after 65, yeah. what they will get? What are those? OK, so and I think this should be done earlier than later. Maybe yeah. when you first get your job, you want to look at the disability benefits. What percentage of income does it cover and mm -hmm. when does it actually? And, you know, some employers have maybe a two year policy mm -hmm. or a five year policy that would be totally inadequate. OK, because they're cheaper. Some employers will buy the cheapest policy. Make sure you look at that in advance. Life insurance. Is that going to end uh, at a certain age as well? Even if you're still working, is is your life insurance policy going to end? Health benefits. When will when will that end as well? Okay. Um, and also, don't forget about critical illness policies. Mo a lot of times they, they're they're add-ons, okay? But you can buy them privately. The reality is, at some point in time, you know, a large portion of the population, maybe even a quarter, is going to mm -hmm. develop some sort of cancer. Mm -hmm. Critical illness, they're very cheap policies. Mm -hmm. And you can get them with a return of premium. Mm -hmm. You know, so maybe, you know, you don't want them in, in, after a certain age, but you get your premium back. Or you get them so that they pay, beyond, you know, they will pay out beyond 65. Okay. There, if you pre-plan and look at these things, mm -hmm. uh, before you get sick, and before you get too old, before you hit 65, I think you could do yourself a, a world of justice and protect your retirement, protect your financial uh, well-being for yourself and the family. Mm -hmm. um, like uh, at one point in your age, when you get these policies, either through employer or a self uh, private policies, do you recommend one should review time to time their policies, yes. like whether this is suitable to me or not, or what benefits I am getting? Because most of the people, they are not aware what are there to their policies. When something happens, then they come to know that, oh, I don't have this coverage in my policy. Is that a suitable? So you might uh, face that kind of cases also in your uh, practices. We, we do. We get called by people who benefits are stopped, not because of the merit of the case, but because of the timeline. Mm -hmm. They're no longer eligible. I recommend every five years, okay. look at your will, look at your estate planning, look at your life insurance. Do you need another term policy? Do you need to make a term to become a whole or universal policy? Look at those things. Um, you know, look at your retirement plans. Yes. Look at your power of attorney. Uh, are your beneficiaries on your will the correct person? Look at your home insurance. Okay. Does it cover overland flooding? Because mm -hmm. a lot of them don't, right? So you want to look at your home insurance as well. What will it what will it cover? Particularly with some of these sort of extreme weather conditions that that we've seen uh, in terms of flooding and things like that. Every five years, look at your estate planning, look at your benefit policies, and look at your insurance policies as well. For sure, hundred uh, percent. In your uh, this uh, uh, law career. Do you want to share some kind of a story or a case where you thought that it should be shared with the public because they should not be fell into this kind of a condition? There might be many, yes. but any, any, any you think right now that uh, uh, I want to tell this to the public that please make sure like you, you just need a lawyer, but you should be proactive from your side. Then don't miss these things because then the cases which you uh, faced in front of you. Yeah, you know, honestly, that there is, uh, there's so many. Yeah. Uh, because we're talking about sort of disability policies, I, I'll give some examples yes. where, 
you know, a person um, would be would have been eligible much longer mm -hmm. under the disability uh, policy, but um, they uh, they were a partial payer, employer partial payer. They went with a five year disability policy mm -hmm. and the person had very significant psychological and chronic pain related conditions that would have probably qualified them to 65 if the policy would have given it. And it ended up being a five year policy. They were cut off after two years. The maximum we could get for them was the three years despite their condition. And it wouldn't have costed a lot more just to pay a little extra and go beyond that. So that's just you know one example that I can yeah. think of. Um, other examples are with auto auto policies. You know, now what's happened, um, you know, the insurance industry has pushed on the government this optional policy thing. So in other words, um, certain benefits that used to be, you'd automatically get in your auto insurance policy become optional, okay? okay. One was the direct uh, compensation for, for the vehicle uh, property damage, and there's chatter and talk about making income replacement benefits uh, mm -hmm. optional, um, uh, certain med rehab optional uh, uh, as well. And of course, slightly uh, different premium, people are gonna try to save money, not realizing that after the fact, uh, realizing after the fact you're in an accident, you don't have income replacement coverage, you don't, you, you know, you're limited on your medical rehab benefits. And when you're in a dire strait, when you really need that money, you won't have it just to save a few dollars. So it's even important in auto policies nowadays, check it very carefully, buy the extra income replacement benefits, buy the extra liability in case, you know, you injure someone and, and you don't have enough coverage, mm -hmm. right? So uh, I think for auto, it's very, very important always look at that policy when a broker sells you a policy you get a new car ask those questions yes. okay what are my benefits if i'm in an accident mm -hmm. what are the optional benefits how much mm -hmm. extra will they cost i think that's very very important because yes. you'll see a lot of surprises after the fact uh if you save a little try to save a little money and then you end up not being covered for things that you should be covered okay uh, so uh, if someone need more information on these uh, disability insurance uh, uh, coverages and what sh they should do yeah. uh, how can they reach you yeah so uh, look we have offices throughout canada um, and uh, we represent people uh, throughout the country except for quebec because they have a different okay. system there visit our website kotaklaw.com uh, it's very informative look at our reviews and call us or email or fill out an online intake form for a free consultation uh, we operate on a contingency basis which means we don't get paid unless the client gets paid yes. okay so, uh, you know, it, it's free consultation, send us the information, call us, and if we can help, we'll gladly do so. Thank you, Nanesh. Thank you very much for this information. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you. Thank you. So, today, Nanesh Kotek, JDK founder, Kotek Personal Injury Law. Toh. So, very important thing that they have talked about that the age of the group insurance policy is finished. And if we still agar work, kar rahe, kam kar rahe, ki sade benefits or rahoge nahi ho expire ho jande te thonu time to time proactive ho ke jo apni policies review karni hai negotiate karni hai ki thodi policies hai same applies with the other policies disability de ilawa auto de bhi gal kiti hai so disability di gal karde hai ki kam kar rahe ho disable ho ge pand de baad then what so oh then what the thonu jehde uh, mr kotek jehde ke barrister solicitor hai kotek personal injury law to unhone sara details samjhata hai